watch this road There's a lot to live But you got to choose Well, it used to be singing the blues But now I'm singing the news Howdy, neighbor, and welcome to the Good News Program. I'm your host, Mike Vaughn, and I want to thank you for tuning in today. It always blesses my heart when you tune in because I realize you could be watching anything else, listening to anything else, or doing anything else. So thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to continue on today's program talking about the end time events. That's right. There is a storm coming upon this world and we need to be ready and we need to be prepared. We're talking about Noah and what he did when he was alive because Noah lived in the end times. That's right. He lived right before the judgment of God upon the uh, society that he lived in. And so we want to look at Noah and see how he lived and the things that he did so we can learn lessons from Noah. Number one, we're talking about how Noah lived a godly life in the midst of a wicked society. And number two, how Noah made himself available to God. Number three, how that Noah was obedient he did exactly everything that God told him to do. And then number four, we're going to talk about how Noah trusted God. He walked by faith. And so get on the phone, call your friends and neighbors and remind them that the good news program is on so they can be blessed as well. I'm going to share a song with you like I always do to start off with. And we've been sharing some songs off of our Simple Things CD project. That's our special offer for this month. And this song here is entitled, God is Good. Aren't you glad that we serve a good God? So I want you to sing along with me and shout the victory and enjoy that teaching segment, and then I'll be back right after that to say a special prayer just for you. Stay tuned. God is great. God is good. Let us thank Him like we should. Sunday morning and all we through. God is great. God is great. God is good. Another sunrise wakes up the earth. And I realize He loved me first His sacrifice on Calvary made A new creation, I'm born again, forever saved God is great, God is good let us praise Him like we should. Sunday morning and all week through. God is great. God is great. God is good. I was nothing on my own. surrender to him my all he gave me life and made me whole he paid the price he paid the debt he did not owe he paid the price he paid the debt he did not owe 
God is great. God is good. Let us thank Him like we should. Sunday morning and all week through, God is great. God is great. God is good. Anyone who does what pleases God will live forever, John said. Genesis 6, 7 says, But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. The Good News Translation says it this way, But the Lord was pleased with Noah. I like that. The Lord was pleased with Noah. He looked around everywhere, and all he saw was wickedness. He saw that the clubs was full. But the little temple over yonder that, that Noah ha had built, there wasn't nobody in there except him and his family. But all the clubs was full. All the honky-tonks was full. All the houses were full. Amen? But he looked at Noah, and he said, that's my man. That's my man right there. Amen. And he's looking around today. And he said, where my man? Where my man? The clubs are full. The houses of ill repute, they're full. Where's my man? I'm looking for my man. I'm looking for my woman. Where are they at? Somebody said, I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm not compromising. I'm living for the Lord come hell or high water. No matter what they say, you a crazy nut. Well, thank God I'm in good company. Amen. I'm in good company with God, El Shaddai, Jesus. I'm in good company. Hallelujah. He looked at Noah, and he said, that man pleases me. That man pleases me. And because Noah pleased God, then we're all here today. Because he pleased God. Genesis 6, 9 says, Noah walked with God. Now, what does that mean? Noah walked with God. That implies relationship. Amen? Amen. The message translation says, Noah consistently followed God's will, and he enjoyed a close relationship with him. See, God desires relationship, not ritual. Somebody say relationship. See, there's no other religion in the world like Christianity, and Christianity is not a religion. But all, all the religions, they don't know anything about relationship. Their God is far off, but our God is close. Amen. Our God left heaven, and he came down, and he lived with his creation. Amen. Amen. He became one of us. Hallelujah. See, nobody else can say that. And he desires a relationship with us today. Just like the branch has a relationship with the vine. We need a relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. The branches cannot live without the vine. If you clip the vine, I mean the branch off the vine and you throw it on the ground, what happens to it? It withers up and dies, doesn't it? Amen? Amen? But it's got to stay in relationship with the vine because the life flows through the vine. Amen. 
In the life that we have today, it comes from the vine, which is Jesus. Jesus said, I am the vine and you are the branches. Amen. Somebody say, I'm a branch. <laughs> Amen. And he is the vine and his life is flowing in me. Hallelujah. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And he said, he who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. You bearing fruit? You should be. For without me, he says, you can do nothing. The country boy said nothing. You can't do nothing without Jesus. Amen? Because he's the vine. He's the source. Hallelujah. So Noah walked with God. Noah pleased God. Noah lived a godly life in the midst of that wicked society. Just him and his family, just eight people. And there had to be millions of people by that time living on the earth. We're talking about millions of people. And he had to have some type of a relationship with them. You know, because when you're, when you're uh, doing commerce, and, uh, and I don't know what uh, Noah did for a living, if he uh, shooed horses or whatever he did, but whatever he did, he had to interact with other people. And he saw how everybody was acting. He saw how everybody was living, but he didn't let it rub off on him. Amen. Amen. See, don't be, don't be like a cat. A cat lets stuff rub off on them. Amen. Because every time they get around something, they want to rub up on it. You ever see that? You know, they, they get up on the side of a wall or a post or something. They always want to rub on it, you know. And then if it's got fresh paint or something on it, it gets off on them. Amen. Be careful who you rub up against because you might get it off on you. Amen. 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 Yeah. Noah, he did not let them influence him in his life. He said, you all want to live without God? You want to curse God? You want to reject God? That's your choice. But I'm going to walk with God. I'm going to live for God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And thank God there's still a lot of people in the world today willing to say that. Yeah. I'm going to stand up. For God, I'm going to stand up for righteousness. I'm going to stand up for holiness. I'm going to stand up for the word of God. No matter what Joe Biden or anybody else says, uh, I'm going to stand for the Bible. I'm going to stand for God. I'm going to stand for Jesus uh, as my Lord and my Savior. I'm going to be a voice for him. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. hallelujah. Mm, praise God. And number two, Noah was available. He was available when God approached him and asked him to build the ark. Now, I can just imagine what Noah was thinking when God approached him and said, look, I got a plan here. Everybody's gone rogue, and uh, I got a plan to send judgment through a flood. And I, I don't want y'all to perish, so I want you to build this boat. Noah could have said no. Because remember, I was talking to you last week about that free will. God gave us a free will. We can say no to him if we want. Imagine what would have happened if Noah would have said no. <laughs> we wouldn't be here. <laughs> That would have aborted God's plan. Always make sure you are available. Always make sure that you are available to God. Don't be too busy. Now, you don't have to be in full-time ministry, 
But when you wake up every morning, wake up saying, Lord, this is the day that you have made. What would you have me to do today? Wake up with him on your mind. Praise the Lord, friend. I hope you've enjoyed that teaching segment talking about living in the last days. We are living in the last days, and we can learn lessons from this Bible character called Noah because he lived in the last days right before the judgment of God hit the earth. And the judgment of God is going to hit this earth. That's right. The Bible tells us all about it in the book of Revelation. But the good news is you don't have to be here. You can miss the judgment of God. Listen to 1 Thessalonians 5, 9. For God did not appoint us to wrath. Did you hear that? God did not appoint us unto wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Therefore, comfort each other and edify one another just as you also are doing. So that's the good news that we don't have to go through the tribulation period. We don't have to go through the wrath of God if you have made Jesus your Savior and your Lord. John 3.16 says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Have you placed your faith in Jesus as your Savior and Lord? Well, if you do, then you can have what this verse says. You can have everlasting life. And that includes the forgiveness of all your sin. And so if God has been dealing with your heart to put him first place in your life, I want you to pray this prayer with me and mean it in your heart. Say, Heavenly Father, I'm sorry for my sin and the life that I have lived without you. I trust you now as my Savior and my Lord. I believe that you died on that old rugged cross, Jesus, for me. You shed your precious blood as payment for my sin debt. And I accept you now into my heart, into my life to change me and make me the person you want me to be. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Friend, if you pray that prayer and you really mean it in your heart, the Bible says that you are now a child of God. That's right. You have a place at the table. You're not on the outside anymore looking in, but you are in the family of God. And I want to rejoice with you by sending this free gift to you. This is a message that I preached entitled The New Birth. This tells you what the new birth really is, what it is not. It tells you what it means to really be saved. And it's full of scriptures that you can look up in your own Bible. So for your free gift, all you got to do is call me and give me your address and I'll send it to you absolutely free. And I'll also send you some free literature along with it to help you in your new walk with the Lord. You can call me right now at 888-429-2280. That's a toll free number, 888-429-2280. Now, if you get that busy signal, then jot the number down and keep calling back because we might be on the line helping somebody else. I want to talk to you and get this message into your hand because I know it's going to be a help and a blessing to you. Call me right now, 888-429-2280. I'm excited because I know many people just prayed that prayer to receive Jesus as your Savior and Lord. Now, I want to invite you, if you're in our area or passing through April the 1st, we're having our next big concert right here at the Good News Fellowship Church. And we're going to have a great time in the Lord as we always do at our concert. Our special guest is Randy and Sherry Miller from Cleveland, Tennessee. Once again, that's April 1st. 
and you're going to have a great time because we always have good old Southern and country gospel music all evening long, as well as good old country cooking, concession stand food, and just a great time of fellowship. So put it on your calendar for April 1st. And again, I'll be singing, and my good friends is Randy and Sherry Miller. They will be our special guests from Cleveland, Tennessee. Go on our website for more info at mvmgoodnews.com. Now, our special CD offer for uh, this month, and I believe this will be the last time I'll be offering this particular one, is our Simple Things CD project. And uh, it's, I think it's uh, 11 songs on this one, a lot of the songs that I wrote, as well as a few traditional songs, simple things, God is good, I believe, harvest time, there's power in the name of Jesus for your gift of $15 plus shipping. Call me right now with your credit card at 888-429-2280. Once again, that's 11 songs that will be sure to bless to encourage you and to edify you. That's what we need to be doing in these last days, listening to things that encourage us and build up our faith. And that's good old gospel music and good preaching. So call me right now with your credit card and I'll send it right to you, 888-429-2280. And say, I wanna get that CD entitled Simple Things and we'll make sure that you get that. And also, I want to encourage you to become a partner of this ministry. If you haven't become a Good News partner yet, please pray about doing so. What is a partner? You may say, well, a partner simply commits to pray for this ministry and also to send a financial donation each month, and we use that to pay for our airtime and production costs. And we thank God for our precious partners because you are the ones that make this outreach happen. Hearts and lives are being touched and transformed because you gave and you prayed. So simply pray about becoming a partner. If you need more information, you can call us or you can go online at our website at mvmgoodnews.com and read more about partnership. You can uh, give online or you can call us or send it in the mail. Many different ways that you can give. And I want to thank you in advance for being such a blessing to us in this ministry. And I never like to close the program without saying a special prayer for you and your family, especially if you're going through a difficult time. I want you to know how much God loves you and how much He cares. And He can help you no matter what type of trying time that you find yourself in. If you'll just trust Him and look to Him, He will help you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I pray for my friends and partners today. Lord, I ask you to pour out your Spirit upon them, Lord. I ask that you would heal the sick, strengthen the weak, set every captive free, Lord. I pray for your abundant peace to fill every heart and life right now. Lord, let our partners know how much we appreciate them because of their faithfulness and generosity. Fill their hearts and lives, Lord, with your mighty peace and your grace and your anointing. I thank you, Lord, for miracles right now in the lives of your precious people. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. I'm so glad you tuned in today, and I trust you had a blessing. I want to leave you with a song right now, and then I'll see you next time right here on the Good News Program. God bless you. Victory is ours today. We'll not be defeated anymore. Since we know 
the power that we have in Jesus' name will not be defeated anymore. Oh, say that. Will not be defeated. Will not be defeated. Will not be defeated anymore. Jesus Christ, God's only Son, He fought the battle. I appreciate your interest in my songs and music. If you would like more information concerning my music or preaching CDs, you can write and request a product list. Send all correspondence to Mike Vaughn Ministries, Post Office Box 550, Tickfall, Louisiana, 70466, or email us at mvmgoodnews at aol.com, and our website is mvmgoodnews.com. Thanks for sharing this time with us today. We hope you have been blessed and encouraged. Remember this program is brought to you by our friends and partners. Pray and ask God what you can do to help us spread the good news. Singing the good news everywhere I go.